Hello! Welcome to vlog number five. A week later, she does another vlog. This one is actually not going to have a moose or anything exciting like that. It's just going to be me blabbing. Now I have made some notes again in my notebook. It's actually a Red Deer College notebook and it's not fountain pen friendly at all. At all. But I'm using a ballpoint with a highlighter on the back. This is strangely exciting because I have written my title and highlighted it. Okay. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining me on this vlogging journey so far. As you can tell, this is not a daily thing. And right now it's kind of just a weekly thing. And some days I, I mean, some weeks I might skip and other weeks I might not skip. I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of going based on how I feel about it. What is happening here? Oh, my bangs are growing out and I just don't know what to do with them. And all my hair is falling out and I'm going gray. So, um, yay, aging. But I'm trying to be positive, so let's continue to be positive about that. But my hair is falling out. It's really annoying. Um, and when your hair is really long and it falls out, it's actually really gross and it just ends up everywhere. And basically, I have a carpet of hair everywhere. So that's nasty. Anyway, let me tell you some updates. I mean, let me give you some updates. First of all, shout out to Peter and his wife because we met each other on the weekend. We went to... Um, don't laugh, but we went to a mall, uh, an outlet mall in between Calgary and uh, Red Deer because it was easier to meet up there. It was kind of a last minute arrangement and it was really lovely. So it was really nice to meet someone who's like-minded, but has also experienced a lot of the things that I'm, I've experienced or am experiencing in terms of like moving and isolation and also being an immigrant and stuff like that. So we we had a really nice lunch and it was really lovely and so i'm pretty excited about that now i will see peter and a bunch of the calgary pen group on friday for the pelican hub but because this is wednesday that i'm recording this i'm putting this up on sunday you will have to wait until the next vlog to hear about the hub anyway so all of that rambling aside now the things that i was going to tell you about updates the chocolate the thomas Haas chocolate that dark chocolate is probably the best dark chocolate i've ever tasted it was, it almost tasted sweet, but I mean, it was 83%. It was pretty dark. And I usually eat like 88%, so maybe that's why it tasted sweet, but oh my God, it was delicious. And I've eaten the entire bar and I think I'm going to have to order some more. So I was just waiting for it to cool down a little to order some, but it was delicious. So yeah, thank you, Melody, for sending that to me to try out. Just so good. Now, what else do we got? Um, Helene had sent me an Earl Grey creme tea. Now, I like Earl Grey and I like vanilla flavored teas, but I like black teas a lot. So this is a black tea with vanilla flavor and the bergamot. So I really enjoyed it with that, like the vanilla gave it a slightly sweeter flavor. It was almost like a milkshake when I added a bit of cream to it. Love it. And I'm, I've been drinking it every morning. What else do we got? Simar had sent me the Darjeeling Second Flush. Now I made some notes. It's supposed to be um, floral, but not sweet. It's zesty with wood resin. Uh, wow, I should, I, I need to read up on tea more, like for the tasting notes and stuff like that, but it was really good. It was woody um, and it was light and floral, but not perfumey and sweet, so. Uh, that's the best that I could describe it. It was delicious. Now, what else have I done? Over the week, I ordered a Hobonichi, the Cousin A5 size. Three years ago, I used an A6. Actually, it might have been four years ago. There's a review on my blog. Um, the journal shop had sent me the A6, and I used it for a long time, and I was like, I just don't get it. Now, A6 is not my favorite size, so maybe that was the problem. Then, like two years later, I used a an, um, an A5, same thing. I just couldn't get into it. Now, I'm not an art journaler. I don't do like daily spreads or anything like that, but I just didn't like I enjoyed the paper because it's Tomoe River, but I just didn't get into it. So last year I tried the weeks. Absolutely love the weeks. It has been superb for me. And as I add things on to like it's got the monthly wait, I'll finish my sentence in a second. Then it's got a week on this side and then a blank page for notes. Um, I love this. This is great for like looking at my week, seeing what I need to get done, what things are due, etc. 
But now that I'm starting to do more stuff and like need notes for vlogs and stuff like that, I find that I need like a full day per page to make notes of what I need to get done, like videos to record, things I need to do, or reviews that need to be worked on. So I ordered that A5 again from JetPen, so that should be interesting. Um, I did not order another week's because I have one of these Midori undated planners and I thought I'll just I'll just use this and see how it goes um, because the idea is that the Hobonichi A5 will be my main planner. So I also had a Leuchtturm 2018 planner and I, I like it. The problem is it's got the week per page that I like and it's got this whole blank side. But the problem is they put Saturday and Sunday split up. But I mean, my Saturday and Sundays, I actually need a full space for. Isn't that when people do a lot of stuff? So like, I don't understand why they only gave like this, like the both on the same strip. So I never really got into this one, even though I love the color and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's my planner update if you care. Now, let me say, um, I've also been occupied with practicing yoga, like over there, where my yoga mat is. Um, I have not gone to a studio yet because I just haven't yet. So I have no excuses, I have no reason aside from I just haven't been able to do it yet. But um, I have been doing my stuff at home, like fun things, like 15 minute split stretches. I have not done the splits yet, but the adventure has been very interesting and I'm enjoying it. So that's all that matters, right? I've also been very busy reading. I use Goodreads, um, not to like update everybody else what I'm reading, but more so that I keep track of what I'm reading and I add books that I want to read and books that I have read. And quite often I will read a book and then like three years later reread it because I've either forgotten it or wanted to just get more details out of it. So anyway, here's what I have read. Gordon Ramsay's Roasting in Hell Kitchen. I'm not gonna do reviews of any of these, like this is just telling you what I've read. The Star Wars, this is The Last Jedi. Uh, obviously this is because Steven had it, so I thought I would read it and it was actually pretty entertaining. There is Ellen Keith's D The Dutch Wife. This was really disturbing. I know I'm not supposed to be doing reviews about these, but I'm just saying like it was really disturbing. And um, Harper Lee's Go Set a Watchman, also disturbing. Hooray, lovely. It's, it was, yeah. They, the Last Jedi was also disturbing and actually so was the Gordon Ramsay book. So that's lovely. And now I am reading other books, but I will show them in the next vlog or whatever when I finish them. So, um, yeah, this has been a pretty boring, useless vlog, I guess. But I'm gonna wrap it up because I don't know. That's about it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just sign out now. Thank you for watching. Sorry if it was boring. Just giving you updates. I have, there's gonna be the hub this week, as I mentioned, so um, the next one should be more exciting than this one. Also, there's a fly on the ceiling and I can't catch him and I don't, I haven't killed him, but I can't catch it to let it outside anyway. So it's just probably gonna die of starvation unless it lets me catch it. Great, I'm gonna go now because this is getting super weird. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. That is more. And that is all. So we will see you next time. Bye-bye.